What's up YouTube? In today's video, I am going to be learning about one of the American legends in football, Clint Dempsey. I know that he played at Fulham. I've done some reactions to his highlights, which are available over on my Patreon account. And in today's video, I'm going to react to this apparent uh, groundbreaking moment in his career. The you don't know where I'm from moment. I don't know what I'm about to get into. I'm about to react to this video. Before we get to the video, can I show you something really, really cool? Over on my Patreon, speaking of, I'm reacting to game highlights. I'm reacting to World Cup highlights. I'm reacting to, like today, Barcelona versus Athletic Club. I'm reacting to the games that I don't live stream. Bayer Leverkusen, I watched that. Uh, all of this stuff over on Patreon. And I'm about to start doing uh, the history of the United States in the World Cup. I'm going to look at our greatest moments, which aren't amazing, but I'm going to look at our greatest moments, learn the history of the United States men's team, and that's going to be popping up here. I've done the 1986 World Cup, all of the, the major knockout stage games of the 1986 World Cup. I'm going to be doing 2002, 2014, basically all of the World Cups after 1986 will be up on my Patreon. It's $5 a month. It really helps support me as I'm finishing uh, out my last two college semesters and trying to be a full-time student while also not having to take out a full-time job in our screwed up economy. So if you would like to come support the channel, I'd really appreciate it. You don't have to because this video that you're about to watch will be absolutely free and you are more than welcome to just watch the free content on YouTube. But let's get into You Don't Know Me, Dog. This is the Clint Dempsey, Micah Richards incident. The question at hand is whether this is one of the greatest American moments in Premier League history or just the greatest in American history, period. Up there, we're Ooh. putting a man on the moon, the oh. Boston Tea Little Party. Aerial ball, aerial battle. Of Piers Morgan. This is the historic moment that great American Clint Dempsey faced. Bro, you can just see the attitude of Clint Dempsey. I think I mentioned that there's a video I did on my Patreon where I was going through my thoughts on the United States men's team and just the grit that we saw from that golden generation with Clint Dempsey at the at the head. And, man, you can just see the attitude. He has that, that killer instinct that I love and I wish that the current breed of United States men's players had. But unfortunately, I'm not going to rehash that entire video, but I had a lot of thoughts about how the pay-to-play system that we have in place kind of breeds players who don't have this same kind of mentality. I'm not saying that we can't get there, but I do think it's a contributing factor. And so, anyway, I'm not going to relitigate that entire video. Up to that magnificent one-man laugh track in a suit. <laughs> Micah Richards. Uh, what is the funniest thing that an opponent has said to you on the pitch? You don't know where I'm from, dog. <laughs> <laughs> what? And who was that Dempsey. on the record? Yeah, Dempsey actually said that to really? me when he was at Fulham. Uh, what, I tackled him and he pushed me. I said, don't push her. You don't know where I'm from, dog. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, really? Really? The Smithsonian Archive should really contain this clip, but it was lost to history. So we did the detective legwork, sifting through football's anals to identify... Can we, can we not call it annals? It's annals. Please, please call it annals. <laughs> Find this exact footage, and we are proud to present it to the world. But before we dive in, let's get this side of the Atlantic's perspective on the incident from the man himself. Hey, he said 10 years ago, I didn't want the smoke. Man, I'm a firefighter. You can bring that smoke, buddy. <laughs> bring the smoke. Flashback to September 22nd, 2007, Fulham hosting Manchester City at Cozy Craven Cottage. It was then 19-year-old Micah Richards' third season in the Manchester City first team. Clint Dempsey getting his first full campaign with Fulham underway after joining in January of that same year. Into the 70th minute, Manchester City holding on to a 3-2 lead and Fulham keeper Antti Niemi sends the ball high and deep towards the short top and sides of Clint Dempsey. There's a bit of a Angle and Clint leans into Rich. 
Looks like it looks like Dempsey gets him with his elbow up in the uh, up in the chest area. Shoots in midair, sending the young defender sprawling to the turf. He springs up and immediately confronts Clint Dempsey. There's a shove, a counter shove. Get your hands off me, dog! Clint warns, <laughs> and it's as the foreheads mash together that he utters those famous words: "You don't know where I'm from, dog." And I'm no expert lip reader, but it doesn't really look like Micah's response is <laughs> Nacogdoches, Texas, which means... <laughs> wow, he's from Nacogdoches? I know where Nac... I've been there many times. I know where Nacogdoches, Texas is. Wow. That's like... If I'm not mistaken, I think that's southern Texas. I think. Let history... Sh it's like near the uh it's near louisiana joe he has no bloody idea where the dempsey family once resided the two are separated mike has shown a yellow for poor knowledge of southwestern geography in the united <laughs> states and dempsey gets a yellow too for simply having too much sauce and the game played out to a 3-3 draw Micah and clint parted ways with no more than slightly sore foreheads and richards won hopes with a deeper appreciation of american cartography but clint bet a little more information about the incident on that same panel. He said that you were kind of you were backing away. As Did was... you smell his breath? The dynamic broadcasting duo seem to have buried the hatchet since that first confrontation so early in their careers. Two years later, it was Richard who fouled Clint. And the two even managed to share a laugh as they walked away. If I had to guess, Richards has just said, Clint, did you know? Nacogdoches is actually the largest exporter of blueberries in the entire state of Texas. Dang, I didn't even know that. I'm a proud Texas boy. Dempsey! Full of the equalizer! We've spoken so much about how Clint was an early pathfinder for Americans to follow in the Premier League, a man who single-handedly redefined the image of our country's exports in the English top flight with goals. So weird to hear the British accent talking about American uh as as an american but that's i super love men and blazers really appreciate this channel the grit and swagger in equal measure and now in this analyst stage of his career he reprises a role once more of the wise master descending from the mountaintop to share his wisdom and experiences with the world he shaped we love you clint you singular personality and refusal to be anyone but Clint Dempsey from Nagadoches, Texas. Nagadoches. Even if you did cut off. Now, we 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 pronounce it Nacogdoches, just so you not that's probably not the right way to pronounce it, but if you want to be Texan about it, it's Nacogdoches. And interestingly enough, interestingly enough, there's a little town spelled almost exactly the same in Louisiana, and it's called Nacogdoches. So just depends on Depends on whether you're talking Texas or Louisiana. It's either Nacogdoches or Nacogdoches. But anyway, uh, I was expecting this to be like a like a groundbreaking story. Apparently, this is a fun little banter between two players in the uh, in the Premier League: Clint Dempsey and Micah Richards. Now, I'm I'm trying to really get into a lot of the American players and learn as much as I can about the United States history in this beautiful game. And, uh, and so Clint Dempsey's obviously one of those ones find out that the boys from Texas, I wonder, I wonder if he's wears blue and silver during, uh, during the American football season. I don't know, but I, I really, really appreciate that, and I appreciate that he's from Texas, that he's a firefighter. I'd like to learn more about his story, so there might be a reaction to Clint Dempsey's story coming out on the channel soon. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Like I said, join Patreon. It would really, really help if, you could, if I could get some support over there, and I'll see you guys in the next video.